I'm really interested in talking to Laura, who's on the phone for a second date right now, because the email that she sent in said, Hey, Jubal, if you do the second date, I've got a teaser for you. Hmm. This guy used a pickup line on me that I guarantee you've never heard before. Wow. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, I want to hear it, too. Yeah. God, she's yeah, good at this. Yeah, me, too. Hey, Laura, what's up? Hey, guys. God. Hey, what was the pickup line? I feel like I've heard and used every single pickup line in the book, so you got your work cut out for you. I swear you have not heard this one before. I promise. And it obviously worked because you went out with a guy. Well, yeah. I mean, it was kind of weird, but ultimately, I guess it worked. <laughs> what was it? Okay, I'm dying to know. What was it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the line was, you kind of look like my stepsister, Whoa. and I've always had a thing for her. Ew, what? what? That is oh. gross, man. Why okay. aren't you running the other way? What, what? is? Now I'm questioning what's wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> Why did that work on you? I guess because it just totally took me by surprise. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's for sure. Are you sure it's Normally. not because you've always had a thing for your stepbrother and this was just some <laughs> fantasy that you both were going to live out? I don't know. Maybe I've read one too many romance novels or yeah. something. Let's hear the scenario then. Like, maybe situationally it might have worked. How did he deliver this line to you? Where'd you meet him? I was out with a bunch of my girlfriends out at a bar. Uh huh. And. This group of guys walks up and just kind of starts sitting down at our table and mingling. Like, everybody's just talking. Tell me you're, like, super wasted, and that's why it worked on you. <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry. I wasn't that wasted at the oh, time. Okay. Really? So it sparked and... conversation. How long did you guys hang out? Quite a while. I mean, we were talking for probably an hour or so. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even at one point I got up, I went to the bar to get a fresh drink. And I come back to the table, and some other girl has slid into my place and is chatting him up. What? Oh, wow. Did you kick her out? You're like, hey, you don't look like a stepsister. Get out of here. <laughs> or half sister or whatever it was. Yeah, I mean, I had to get rid of her. <laughs> so I told her that the bartender was just complaining that something was wrong with her credit card, and he needed to talk to Shut her about it. Up. That oh. is. It's a good move. That so. is genius and also super shady. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just wanted my guy back. I mean, he was mine. Okay. okay. All right. So was this the date that you want to call him back about, or did you guys actually go out? Uh, there's more. So I'm like, you know, you're welcome. I saved you from that aga. No, you did not call her that. <laughs> I did. I'm sorry. I did. I'll admit it. What did he okay. say? He was like, well, why are we sitting around wasting time here? If you want another drink, why don't we have one back at my place? Oh, man. Sweet. And does he live with his family, so you got to meet the person you look like? <laughs> no. <laughs> God. All right. So did you go back to his place, though? Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of up for it, you know. Cool. I ended up spending the night. You know, we had fun. Nice. You can always tell when, when when someone ends up staying the night because their voice gets even higher. You know, yeah. we talked about it. I mean, we just did it, and it was really fun. <laughs> yeah, we just had a good time. See? Yeah, the voice is still high. Nice. All right. So it <laughs> sounds like you had fun. How was the next morning? So the next morning was also kind of funny, but kind of strange. Oh. Beautiful day by YouTube just starts glaring at like <laughs> 7 a.m. So he's got some preset alarm, I guess, on his iPhone or something. Whoa. And, I mean, it wakes me right up. He's still snoring next to me. Like, he doesn't even hear it. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, if it's your alarm, you usually sleep through it if you hear it the same thing every morning. So his alarm goes off again. Same exact thing. Beautiful day. It's blasting in my ear. I mean, the volume's up at like 10. Okay. I thought this guy was questionable comparing you to one of his family members, but having Beautiful Day by U2 play every morning on your alarm, why do you want to go out with this psycho again? <laughs> Come on. Maybe he's really sensitive. I mean... <laughs> so what happened? I mean, he just rolled over and hit snooze again, or...? So he's not hitting the button, and I just can't take it anymore. So I kind of like start reaching over him, hit it off, and as soon as I do, he like slaps my hand away. What? what? <laughs> Slapped it? <laughs> yeah, but it's just 
extra weird because otherwise he's lying there like a zombie. Like, he's completely motionless. <laughs> and he just, like, randomly slaps my hand away. It's almost like he maybe didn't know what he was doing. Weird. Did weird. he wake okay. up at that point after the, the hand slap? No, he didn't. He just kept lying there. Did he ever wake up? <laughs> Did he ever? <laughs> I mean, he kind of rustled around in the bed a little bit, but he was pretty hungover. Mm. So I can kind of understand why he wasn't too energetic in the morning. Yeah. But he didn't exactly say goodbye. Oh, my God. So you just got up, got dressed, and then left? Yeah, I mean, I had to go. So, yeah, I just kind of had to, like, leave. Do you think he was faking sleeping so that he didn't have to talk to you in the morning? God, I hope not. I hadn't even thought of that. Well, now you have a whole new thing to think about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why do you think he's not calling you back? I don't know. I had a really great time. And I don't want it to be just, you know, a random hookup. I'd like to see him again. Okay. Well, mm. we'll play a song, come back, and then call him and get your second date, if he wakes up, that is. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hang on. Beautiful day. <laughs> Hey, Laura? Yes? Is this uh, giving you flashbacks of your date? <laughs> Starting me off right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling positive. Guess. If you're just tuning in for the second date, Laura is on the phone. And why A Beautiful Day by, who is that again? You too, Jubal. You too, yeah. yeah why? I deal. should know that. Oh I work God. in radio. People yeah. assume I know music, but I don't. I was going to say Coldplay, and I knew that was wrong. <laughs> uh a beautiful day by you, too. Why do we start the segment with that? Because Laura met a dude at a bar. They went back to his place. They ended up, how'd you say it, Laura? Having fun, but you said it with a really high voice. We were having fun. We were having fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh so they had a bunch of fun, and then she was woken up in the morning by that song right there on his phone as an alarm, I guess, and it kept going off. She tried to turn off the alarm, and at one point, he seemed to be still asleep, but he woke up, knocked her hand away from the phone, and then went back to sleep. And she hasn't heard a word from him since. Laura, are you sure you want to call this guy? I just think, like, one-night stands, one-night hookups that don't call you back and don't wake up in the morning to say goodbye are usually probably not very promising. I hear what you're saying, Brooke, but we had a great time. I mean, we really connected. I just think that he was maybe really hungover and doesn't really know what he did. And so I'd <laughs> like to, you know, get to the bottom of this. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, I want to dial his phone number right now. Hopefully his ringtone is a beautiful day, too. Oh. It's just like a weird U2 fan. Every single song of his. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, Laura? Yeah. All right, oh, here we go. I'm going to dial his phone number right now. Oh, by the way, what's his name? I didn't get his name. Matthew. Matthew, I guess that's important. Okay, yeah. now I'm going to dial the phone number and call him. Here we go. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Matthew? Yeah, this is Matthew. Hey, Matthew. How are you, man? Sounds like I just woke you up. I'm sorry, but this is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show. Yeah. 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 Are you, uh, did I wake you up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hang on a second. Hang on. Yeah, yeah just hang Matthew? on a second. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's We're up? We're on old. Yeah, you all right? Everything good? Yeah, I was just getting a swig of Red Bull. I was sitting by my bed, yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, gross, Perfect. man. Glad to see you're waking up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what is this? My name is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. We do a segment on our show called The Second Date, and recently you spent the night with a girl named Laura. Oh, oh yeah, okay, all right, uh-huh. Yeah, what about, what about it? So Laura is kind of wondering why you're not calling her back after you guys hooked up because she would like to see you again. She told us about how you guys met, and then she told us how she woke up in the morning, and I guess the alarm was going off on your phone, and... You, like, hit her hand away from your phone and went back to sleep. I don't know if you know that or not. Wow, she told you that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Can I just ask you, because this is what I think. I think that you were faking sleeping, so you didn't have to talk to her in the morning. Uh, no, not not totally. What? Not totally, so you were kind of faking sleeping, so you didn't have to talk to her? No, I wasn't really faking. I don't really fake stuff, you know? Okay. That's okay, not good. really my thing. So you were asleep? No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't as, asleep totally. No. So, can you explain to us at least 
what that means? So I, I have this, um, my alarm, I wake up and it's um, a beautiful day by you 2 Do you know that song? Yeah, she actually yeah. told us that. She said that she was sound asleep and then your alarm started going off and it was beautiful day by you 2 and she kept trying to turn it off. Yeah, you know, that's like my get up and bro song, you know? Get up and bro? You know? Is that what you just said? <laughs> yeah, man. It's like, it's a beautiful day. and it, It's just a great song. It just gets me, it gets me going, you know? Yeah. Okay, okay. so that's, your, that. that's a song that you like to listen to every morning on your alarm. It's like my thing. It's like my thing that I have. So it's, what's the problem? I don't understand yeah. what the problem is. The problem is she reached over and turned it off. Why is that a problem? Are we done, it, it pl- Are we done here? Wait. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Why is that a problem? Because it's not just an alarm. I listen to that song in the morning. I listen to it all the way through. Mm-hmm. I sit in bed and I listen to it, and it gets me going. It's my get up and bro song. Okay. Oh, bro. <laughs> Dude. Hey, I feel you, bro. Um, but Wait. why can't you just like let her turn it off because you're trying to sleep and then maybe wake up with her and then turn it on yourself after she leaves? Because that's not how my routine goes. Yeah, but when you invite <laughs> someone over to your house and they stay the night, they're going to screw up your routine in the morning. Unless part of your routine is just waking up with a different girl every morning. I don't know. Maybe that's part of it. We don't have to talk about that. But I'll... <laughs> Look, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get up and turn off her Spice Girls song. Why would she be listening to Spice Girls in the morning? (laughs) Whatever, man. Look, I was off all day, and it was her fault. I felt weird. It messed with my head all day. You know what I mean? Like, it's just straight-up disrespectful. You know what I mean? Not really. (laughs) Why wouldn't you tell her? Because I was hungover. Okay. And it's also like I didn't say anything because that's part of my routine. I sit there, and I listen to the song, and she interrupted it. Hmm. And it messed up my whole day. But she didn't know that was your boundary. It's my phone. I don't mess with anybody's phone. Do you Do you go and touch people's phones? If it's blaring you two in my ear for 10 minutes while I'm waking up, yes, I would touch your phone. Then get out and leave if it's bothering you that much. Oh, my God. Yeah, all right. Okay. Well, hey, man, uh, you definitely know what you like, and you don't like somebody turning off your favorite song in the morning. Yeah, you got it out of me. Yeah, thank you for telling us now. I appreciate that. Now I have to tell you something, and this might screw up your routine a little bit because Laura is actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. Hi, Matthew. Are you serious? Oh, my God. (laughs) Man. I just want to know, are you serious? Because I'm just totally confused right now. What? Did you just hear all that? You're saying that because you didn't get to listen to you two, I ruined your entire freaking day. Listen, Laura, it's a routine. I listened to Beautiful Day by you two once or twice, all the way through, no talking. <laughs> then I get up, I brush my teeth, I have my protein shake, I do some crunches, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay. That's awfully specific. <laughs> yeah, it's a routine. Don't you have a routine, Laura? Don't you do something in the morning? Don't you do yoga or something or listen to Rihanna or Spice Girls or something? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, the first thing I do is turn off the alarm. <laughs> it turns off by itself when the song is over. And you know what? It's not just an alarm. That's what you don't get. It's a wake-up. <laughs> <laughs> My wake up went off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is stupid. You had a girl in your bed next to you, all right? You can adjust your routine a little for somebody else. You're in someone else's house. Do you need to respect the traditions of that said house? <laughs> you know, what? what if she doesn't know your traditions yeah, yet, Matthew? Matthew? You didn't tell me anything. How am I supposed to know that that's your routine, okay? I had zero heads up on this one. It just seems like, Matthew, you're not a very flexible person. Not on that. I'm not. <laughs> not, on my, not on my get up and bro song. I, got I mean, you. Lord, uh-uh. do you, isn't that kind of a turnoff? I'm sorry. I've never met somebody, let alone a guy, who's been this particular about a morning routine. Hey, you know what? Hey, I tried to be flexible. I tried to listen to it again later, and it's like it's gone. It's ruined. It's not the same, is it? Yeah, you get your. You can't listen to your get up and bro song in the afternoon. What's your name? Uh, Jubal. 
Jubal. You know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> yeah, it makes perfect sense to me, man. Like, you know, you get, that's a morning song when you're ready to get up and bro. If you listen to the afternoon, it just, uh, the whole day just feels weird, right? I'm going to let this guy talk for me. <laughs> yeah. Matthew, did you, feel you. did you or did you not have a connection with Laura before the whole YouTube blunder? Yeah, of course. Okay. And you want to waste all of that. Like, why wouldn't you just be open to giving someone another shot now that they know what your issues are? I mean, if I had known that, I would have let you listen to the whole God YouTube album. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's not a great album. I just like that song. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm right. glad we got that all figured out. Hey, yeah. Matthew, I do have to ask you this, though. Would you like to bro out with Laura on another date? We'll pay for it. <laughs> Matthew. You know, I'm sorry if I ruined your day. I just think this entire thing was a misunderstanding. Well, let me just say I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry you don't have respect for people's personal things. Oh, man, you are just... Oh, my God. So is that that's a no, Matthew? <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, yeah, no. we got it, Matthew. So no. That is strange that's, to me. That's brutal. Yeah, wow. How is it strange? Everybody's got their things. It's about respect, y'all. <laughs> hey, Laura, I'm sorry you did not get a second date. Well, maybe I'm okay with that yes. after hearing all this. I think you dodged a bullet. I mean, yeah. that's kind of a weird situation. I agree. I did dodge a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> you. Well, at least somebody dodged a bullet. Thanks a lot, oh, guys. Man.